Tonight, members of a local school board say they won't go easy on students who get into fights at school. This is an update to a story we've been following for weeks. KSNT News reporter Kelly Severa is live in Tecumseh to break down those changes made tonight after recent outcry from parents. Kelly. Brooke Jace, that's right. This comes after Shawnee Heights High School saw 18 fights break out since the beginning of the school year. Now, school leaders told the board tonight that there haven't been any fights since the November 20th emergency meeting discussing that outbreak of fights, but a zero tolerance policy was approved 7 to 0. That means that any student who starts a fight can be expelled, but it does not eliminate them from having a disciplinary board hearing. School board member Lauren Tice Miller was not enthusiastic about the idea for how aggressive it was and felt that parents were concerned about a larger issue. It was about bullying and just kind of the general culture in some areas. So I think that's why it's important that we look at all of the policies and how do they work with each other. Um, and so that's why I was a little hesitant the overall document does need to be tweaked to reflect the discussion had here tonight before it will be released to parents and students officially. And they also decided to form a task force tonight in, uh, involving people with and within the with and outside of the school community so that they have all different perspectives. Live in Tecumseh, Kelly Saberi, KSNT News. All right.